Welcome to Our College of Voices. I'm your host, Kara Monroe. On a couple of previous episodes, we've had a couple of folks from our benefits team here to talk with you about some things. And we sort of previewed a new benefit that was going to become available to our full-time faculty and staff. And that benefit has now been rolled out. It's called Your Money Line. And I'm really excited to have both Chris Butler and Jen Fisher here from our benefits team and Pete the Planner, who is the owner and founder of Your Money Line, to talk a little bit about this tool and what it brings to us and just to explore what's available. So let's meet our panel. Uh, first up is Jennifer Fisher. Hi, Jen. Hi. You've gone from like most reluctant podcast guest to frequent podcast guest. I love that. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. <laughs> We're glad to have you here. And Chris Butler. Hi, Chris. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. You're welcome. Remind folks what you do here at Ivy Tech. I, uh, my title is Director of Employee Benefits. I handle and work with the retirement and wellness and leave of absence. Excellent. And we need to still have you back to talk about retirement benefits at some point. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> also, maybe a little reluctant <laughs> podcast guest. Um, and next we have Pete the Planner. Hi, Pete. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Excellent. Can you tell us just a little bit more about who you are and what you do? I have a last name. It's Peter Dunn. Thank no you. one knows it, but now you do. <laughs> And uh, several years ago, almost two decades ago, I became obsessed with just fixing people's financial lives. And so we built a company around that. And we are a group of professional financial problem solvers that full-time Ivy Tech employees have access to. And uh, we sell nothing. We uh, The employees don't have to pay anything. And all we do is uh, jump in there and help them fix whatever they're dealing with in their life. Excellent. I was feeling, I have to tell you, tell you, and we'll div- dive into this a little more. I was feeling really great about my personal finances. Mm-hmm. And then I logged into my dashboard through your money line. <laughs> I was like, Oh, I've got a couple things I need to work on. So we'll, we'll dive into that a little more today uh, through the episode. I'm going to start with Jen and Chris to just talk a little bit about why this benefit and why right now. Um, so what caused us to change up our financial planning benefit? We've always had something, um, but why this and why now? Great question. Chris and I uh, took a tour of all the campuses in the summer of 2018, I believe, and for our voice of the customer. And what we were doing is we were listening to our employees and trying to figure out what benefits were resonating and um, what weren't and where we could, you know, use a little nudge and, and use their feedback on improving our programs. Chris runs the retirement show and and has ownership in the retirement symposiums. And I'm thrilled with that. It's just an amazing job. So we know we've got that covered pretty well. But what we heard from our employees is that we were missing everything in between as far as whether it's, it's not even so much financial education, it's um, just support, but on an individual level. And so that led us to research you know, what our existing programs are and what other um, partners are out there that we can work with to help meet that need. Chris, for you specifically, how do you see this fitting into the overall retirement picture for employees? Well, when we uh, completed the voice of the customer over the summer, some of the feedback we got was that, you know, people are just wanting um, someone to call and get resources on some of the benefits that we have. And I think that this can fit in well, mostly with a lot of the benefits. As far as the retirement, I think that um, it's just an additional resource for mm-hmm. employees to, you know, reach out to if they've got questions. Excellent. Pete, you um, you indicated that your employees don't sell anything. There's no cost to the employee for us to use this tool. Talk a little bit more just about the origin story of your money line, if you don't mind, and how you came up with this idea. Sure. So I was a financial advisor for uh, a long time, and I noticed a trend in my clients in the mid-2000s that maybe they were making plenty of money, maybe they had the opportunity, but just their daily lives were just getting in the way of real progress. So much so that when someone would tell them to save for retirement, all they could do is think, I can't afford to. And that that disconnect made them feel not so great about their employer, about their employment, about themselves. And so we started to take a look and say, all right, if we're telling someone, hey, don't worry, you'll be fine 40 years from now when you retire, aren't we just really ignoring their current reality? Mm-hmm. Aren't, aren't we disconnecting ourselves from the pain and, and things they're dealing with on a regular basis now? Things like, do I save for retirement or pay for my kid's college? Or do I save for my kid's college? Or do I pay off my own student loans? Or do mm-hmm. I rent or buy or lease or buy a car? All these little questions, we're supposed to know them, you know? Are we supposed to just Google the answer? And so we became really good at, at, at leading people to action. And we love it. I mean, we serve about 1.2 million employees nationwide. We're based out of central Indiana. So I'm so glad to be able to serve people in our community. Absolutely. And... Um, 
we're addicted to helping people move forward with whatever is stymieing them in their financial lives. There are a lot of addictions. That's a good one to have. Yeah, it's better than <laughs> a lot of ones I can think of. <laughs> It's a very healthy addiction. So um, part of your tool set, there's that you can, as a faculty or staff member, I could call. And then there's also an online dashboard. Can you talk a little bit just more about what the resources are that are now available to us as a part of um, being in the Your, Your Money Line family? Yeah, there's two main categories, right? There's uh, self-help, if you will, which is if you go to yourmoneyline.com, person can use the tools and calculators and guides, mm -hmm. and, and it guides you through. If you don't like to talk to anybody or interact with anybody, it's a good way and you can, you can make it happen. But where it really matters is that we, you, know, you can talk to an expert that this is their job mm -hmm. to listen to you, to listen for what you think is the problem and then to really hear what the problem is and then to help you with that too. And uh, people can get help via phone, via text, via our mobile app, which just that means with two clicks, you can be talking to someone on your phone uh, via you know, text with your thumbs. You can be chatting with your thumbs <laughs> or your vocal cords. We don't particularly care. The reality is if there's a barrier to entry to get someone to get financial help, we want to lower that barrier. And if the barrier is they'd rather live chat with someone on the internet, let's do that. If they want to do it in Spanish, we can do that. Excellent. If you want to schedule a call, we can do that. We just keep trying to lower that barrier. That's wonderful. So when you first log into your money, your money line, which I did for the first time earlier today, um, you're presented with this uh, financial stage calculator, which is just a series of check boxes. And there are four classifications, surviving, driving, arriving, and thriving. Can you talk a little bit more about those and what they mean to you? They rhyme. So that's They good. do. Yes. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. Uh, well, the reality is if, again, if you look at your financial life and you think, well, what are our goals? And then you think, well, everyone just keeps telling me my goal is retirement. Reality is we all have about 15 things that we probably should check off in our mm -hmm. life through our 40 year work career, 40 ish year work career. And so that list is uh, indicative of, of, of those steps, getting out of credit card debt, putting together a budget, putting together a will or a trust to protect our family in the event that we move on. Things like that, 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 that are uh, attainable, achievable. Maybe they take a month. Maybe they take six months. I, I just, it's so hard to chase after a 40-year goal. Let's chase after a 30-day goal. And that's the, that's the premise of it. Um, some people might learn that they're in the surviving stage of their life, which, yeah, that is alarmist language. No one wants to find out they're surviving today when earlier in the day they thought they were fine. That's a, that's a rough thing. But at least they can talk to someone to, to take care of that issue. It's just a path forward. And here's the nutty thing for me. There are two people within your organization that make the exact same amount of money, that are the same age, that have the same family structure, and what will help them are completely different. Mm -hmm. And it's the expert that can help shortcut that process. Yeah. I had mentioned as I, as I logged into this and just was playing around for a couple of minutes, you know, I really thought I was doing quite well and I've checked off a couple boxes in thriving. Um, but I, um, haven't checked off really any of the boxes in arriving, which is the level below. So it also helps see where you might be out of balance in what you're doing financially. Yeah. You know, sometimes with financial wellness, which is what, what all this category is, if you go to a bunch of workshops and you're in there with your coworkers who you like hanging out with, sometimes it can begin to feel like haves and have nots. Mm -hmm. It can start to feel like I'm not going to go to that because I don't want to hear how bad I'm doing. We try to personalize this so anyone can feel like not only where they are, it's okay, but the next step in the process is also achievable. Uh, our lives are very different. Like, and, and I think what people will find when they call us or email us is that uh, we're going to listen a person will be heard. They will not be judged. We don't go to the water cooler and say, hey, I just talked to this guy who's in terrible shape. We don't do that. In fact, uh, frankly, the, the, the worse the problem, the more excited we get that we can have an impact on that person's life. And I'll also say, before I forget, because I will always forget this, a big thing I'm excited about for Ivy Tech is how we help people with public service uh, student loan forgiveness. If you qualify to have your student loans forgiven, we can help you with that process. You know, we had a, an educator just in November. We were able to help get $17,000 of student loans forgiven for her down in Texas. And believe me, I want to see some of that debt relief here in the heartland too. I might, um, that might be the first call I make. I have some student loan debt that I have wondered if I qualify for that program. Yeah, we've got some, we've, all our people are, are, you know, know what to do there. But we have one person in particular that that's what she studies all the time. And so just to have that relief, imagine calling because, oh, well, we have a new benefit. Let's check it out. And then 45 minutes later, you've learned that, you know, tens of thousands of dollars yeah. of student loans could be forgiven. That's a, that's a good day at work. Right. 
That's amazing. So I want to just just sort of hit you up with uh, some things that are common questions that have hit me over the years. And so one is like the distribute or the contribution to various funds within my retirement account. Is that a question your money line could help me with? We can help you understand um, the differences between the mm-hmm. funds, but we're not at any point going to say, choose this one. Right. But w- what we can say is if you're intending to get to one outcome mm-hmm. and you choose the wrong fund, we can mm-hmm. tell you the impact. Because some people say, well, I'm a very conservative investor. Mm-hmm. And then they, you know, they tell us what they have. And we're like, well, you know, that's actually not conservative. Right. And that happens more frequently than you think. I mean, we see that all the time. People are like, well, I hate risk. And they tell us what you have. And we can't say switch it, but we can say, if you hate risk, boy, have you come to the wrong place within uh-huh. your funds because it's it's out of line. Right. And um, I have personally, I always try to be a little vulnerable on these episodes. I have just personally struggled with keeping a budget over mm-hmm. the years. Um, I'm not a frugal person by any stretch of the imagination. And so budgets have always made me feel constrained. I've done really well the last couple of years. But build, just building a budget at first was really hard for me. Is that something your team can help with? Every day. Okay. And, and in, not only that, but the way you deal with your budget is different than the person who's going to call after you. So we will build a process that makes sense for the way you think about money. There's not one way to do a budget. There's probably 20. Mm -hmm. And so we just need to find the one that makes the most sense for you. And a lot of times it has to do with goal setting, right? Budgeting is easier when you realize that maybe overspending in a category prevents you from achieving a specific Mm -hmm. outcome. You know, maybe I can dine out less if I know I, my kids will be in student loan debt, or maybe I won't go to you know Amazon as much if I know that I'm not going to be able to retire when I'm 65. So tying those things together actually help quite a bit with budgeting. Excellent. Very good. I want to just sort of close with a question to Jen and Chris about who's eligible for this benefit and how they could learn more. So can you guys talk a little bit about that? All of our full-time employees are eligible for the benefit. Also, I think uh, any dependents that live in the household as well are eligible to call and take advantage of the benefit. We'll be sending out more information uh, via email and we'll have, um, we actually have business cards available at every campus that somebody can take with them. We like the business card option as it is a way when one of our folks comes to us in a stressful situation, we're not equipped to solve these stressful Mm -hmm. situations for them. So we... That's information we pass on to them directly, and Mm -hmm. they can take that and call or log on whenever they are interested and have time. The other piece of it is is, is as we start, I mean, I I don't want to talk about open enrollment yet because we (laughs) just finished that. Um, But we will be um, working with the Your Money Line team on how do we talk about our benefits Mm -hmm. that are impactful for everyone. Question that I get, you talk about making yourself vulnerable. Um, I don't know how much life insurance to have yeah. for myself. Yeah. I really don't. I don't one. have kids and yep. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, and so those are questions that I know I can reach out to your money line for and and get some help. And so that's really part of the other piece of this is that your money line is part of our bigger benefit strategy. And mm-hmm. we love for our vendor partners to work together in that way because that's really what our plan is, is to have a more cohesive benefit platform for our employees to take advantage of. Well, I, I just want to commend you all for this and, and to Pete for creating a product that I can tell I'm probably going to spend a lot of time with over the next few months getting comfortable. Um, but I have the opportunity as a Simplex coach here at the college to wander around um, while folks are working on their personal problem solver in the Simplex 1 and Simplex 2. And so we don't dive into those problems really deeply. They're not public problems. We're working on them individually. But there are two things that I see all the time. How can I have more money and how can I have more time? And we can't necessarily have more money, but we use our money that we have more effectively. And so kudos to you for putting this resource together, Pete, to building such a great tool. Um, it, it looks amazing and I can't wait to to get into it more. And I'll probably be calling with some questions shortly. They look forward to talk. You get to talk to people much more qualified than me. That's the best part. <laughs> So uh, you'll enjoy your time. Thanks very much. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, We end every episode with a call to action. Um, If you are a full-time faculty or staff member here at Ivy Tech, um, I would encourage you to create your account at yourmoneyline.com. It really is very simple. It took me less than a minute today to do it. You'll set up your account, create a username and password, and then verify your email address. It's that simple. They also have a phone number. Pete, can you give us that phone number? 833-890-4077. Excellent. Very good. So please take advantage of this new 
of this new tool here at Ivy Tech. Uh, I want to thank the members of our panel, Pete Dunn, also known as Pete the Planner, uh, Chris Butler, and Jen Fisher. Thank you all for joining today. I'm your host, Kara Monroe. You can connect with me on Twitter at KNM Tweets. You can reach us by email at our college or voices at ivytech.edu. Leave us a voicemail at 317-572-5049. Don't forget, if you're an Ivy Tech faculty or staff member, you can join our Microsoft Teams listener community. And they just do that through Microsoft Teams. Our website is ivytech.edu forward slash podcast. Production assistance for this and every episode provided by Becky Campbell, Sarah Ferguson, and the Ivy Tech Community College marketing team. Our podcast concept is by Matthew Pittman. The music recording and post-production services provided by Jen Eads at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. And we will talk to you next time on Our College, Your Voices.